Okay, distance formula, midpoint formulas, these are two really important and fairly easy formulas. The distance formula is based on that old thing called the Pythagorean theorem that you probably learned in a geometry class. That says if we've got a right triangle like we do here, one that forms a right angle, that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, a and b are always those two sides that make up the right angle, those are called the legs, and c is always the long side, the hypotenuse. So another way of stating this would be leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Now you can look at these points and see if you can figure out this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So this point down here where they make that right angle would have to be x2, y1 because those line up together. And so if we apply the Pythagorean theorem to this and want to find this distance here, we would want to take the square root, right, because we don't want the distance squared, we just want the square root of whatever this distance is down here. Well, that's going to be the difference in my x values, so x2 minus x1, and we'd have to square it. And this distance here, this length, which would be the difference in my y values, and I would square that, and that gives us the distance formula. Okay, so let's apply that to a specific case, because that's really what we're going to be doing. If I had the ordered pairs 3, 2, and 10, 6, and I want to know what's the distance, I'm going to take the square root, and then I'm going to take the difference in my x's, 10 minus 3, and square it. Then I'm going to take the difference in my y's, the 6 minus 2, and square it. Notice everything underneath here is positive. I'm going to get 49 plus 16. That's the square root of 65. Now 65 is just 5 times 13, so that square root doesn't simplify um, other than if I want to get a decimal approximation using my calculator. To do that, I would come over here and I would just simply go to the square key, but above it there's a square root, so I need the yellow button, second, and then square root, 65, and enter. And there's my 8.06. All right, let's take a look at another example here. If I'd want to find the distance from negative 2, 1 to 3, negative 6, paying attention to those minus signs here, okay? So we're going to do the negative 6 um, minus 1 quantity squared. I, for some reason, I did my, my y's before my x's. I don't know. It really doesn't matter when you're adding. And then 3 minus the negative 2 and quantity squared. And then what I have here is a negative 7 squared, which is 49, 5 squared, which is 25, and that gives me the square root of 74. Put that in our calculator, and we should get approximately 8.6. Right, the next formula, really, really easy. It's the midpoint formula. And all that is is finding the average of the x's and the average of the y's. Average, you know, you add and divide. So if I have these two points and I want to find the average x and the average y, I'm going to take negative 4 plus 0, divide that by 2, because I added two things. Negative 2 plus 5, divide that by 2, reduce each of those, and we get negative 2 and 3 halves. Now let's take a look if I were to graph the original point. So down here is negative 4, 2, up here is 0, 5, and then negative 2, 3 halves would be right about here, and that does look like it's in the midpoint, even though this is not a perfectly scaled graph. 